what you have with Link is about 85% of a replacement from a traditional PBX. Okay, that, you know, even Microsoft themselves would admit to that. Uh, the bits that are missing for that is, is a front end, what we call auto attendance. So that typical scenario you get when you call into a large organization that, uh, that gives you an automated response that says, press one for sales. If you call a bank, that type of thing, um, you might be you know, prompted to put in your account code, all of those things. We provide um, an auto attendant front end solution that natively integrates with Link to provide that. It also provides a call center solution so we can have call center agents that are native link agents. So what that means is it, it, it provides um, a lot of the core functionality that's, that's fundamentally missing from a professional voice solution um, that's natively integrated as part of link. We do not um, provide our own call center solutions outside of that you know, scenario. You cannot have our, our link call center solution without having the link platform. So it's, a, it's, it's an added value product to the link architecture. I think one of the challenges certainly from um, a traditional voice uh, commercial deal for a dealer is that there is set margin, right? When they sell you know, a PBX, there's the, you know, the tin, there's a the software, there's ongoing maintenance, and they know what the revenue model is from that. Uh, with the Microsoft licensing type model, it's, it's slightly different. One of the things that we add is, is that we add um, functionality to turn that, you know, that link into a, a complete um, competitive PBX solution, but also provide our partners, such as you know, the, the Trinity Group, with some really good margin. So good margin up front on the product, so, you know, so additional margin that they can make in the deal, and then on, ongoing sort of revenue from you know, software assurance. And the reason we as a company that have been manufacturing IP PBXs since 94 have made such a massive shift over towards integrating with Microsoft is because it makes absolute sense that most customers, well all customers that you speak to will have an investment in their voice architecture and they also have an investment in the Microsoft data architecture. The difference now is that with Link you can combine everything into one solution. Um, by adding some of uh, our very niche um, designed products such as call center functionality, call recording, reporting, all the things that, you know, that all companies need, um, with a mobility solution it's a completely wrapped service. So it makes absolute sense. You know, from an ROI perspective, you're reducing massive amounts of maintenance costs from a traditional PBX. Um, you don't have you know, um, you know, the obsolete um, system scenario coming into play. Um, continually sort of you know, um, allowing them to develop and to migrate across to a software as a service solution as opposed to hardware based. So uh, you know, from, from a customer perspective, it's superb. Right, the, you know, the ROI from that, the ability to manage your calls, to reduce your call costs, you know, it's endless. There's so many different, different elements to it that appeal to customers. At the end of the day, our products are additional solutions to fundamentally what is a link, you know, base platform. So having partners like Trinity that really understand how to deliver those solutions um, you know, from start to finish, from planning through to deployment and support. Um, their expertise in that area means that we're able to introduce our products into their portfolio so much quicker and, and then have reliant that, you know, on the fact that we know they're going to deliver. That's the key for us. I, I think the problem is, is that we have an awful lot of customers that come to us direct, right? You know, we have very high profile within Microsoft itself. Um, people like our products. Um, so they tend to come to us. We have an awful lot of dialogue with customers prior to introducing one of our you know, dealer partners. Um, and the challenge with some dealer partners is that they're going through that transition between voice and data, not always having the right expertise. Um, the great thing about the Trinity Group is I know that when I introduce them to an opportunity and when they introduce, that, introduce us to an opportunity, it's the same thing. We know we work really well together. Um, the you know, time from early discussion to, you know, to actually delivering a solution is reduced, right? Um, from a management perspective, they're self-sustaining, you know, self-managing for that, you know, so they don't need an awful lot of hand-holding. They're, um, they're a good partner. The caliber of, of the people that they have, they're very, very professional, qualified people. I think their infrastructure in terms of how they approach opportunities is superb. Um, you know, they make sure they do their homework really well. They make sure there's a lot of grounding and a lot of... Um, 
preliminary information that's, you know, that's obtained so that when we're brought into an opportunity, they know exactly what the customer requires. And I think that's important. We wouldn't be able to deliver our solution without partners like Trinity.